Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Atlantic Fleet. This should be episode number 13, but when it gets to these higher numbers, I, I tend to lose count. <laughs> anyway, the war's going very well for us. Uh, I don't, I would say almost too well, that things might become a little uninteresting very soon. So the goal I have is to switch over from this obviously extremely dominant submarine warfare. I mean, this wolf pack doctrine, which is obviously working very well. I'm going to try to start switching over to some more surface heavy engagements uh, just because I want combat. <laughs> I want combat. And I'm not getting it the way things are going. So we'll try to reinforce our bigger fleets with even bigger fleets. Uh, more heavy cruisers. I don't know, just maybe even combining some fleets. I don't know what to do exactly. And then we'll try not to go too close to England itself, but. I, the thing is, I just don't know where to engage them where we can reasonably defeat them because air power is so potent. So, it looks like we have a chance to sink another battle cruiser here. Again, this is just my submarines. Uh, just totally wrecking face, just doing everything, killing everyone. So, it looks like it'll be the U-44's duty to sink the repulse. And she looks like she's in very good shape to do that. That means my U-44 here, no, U-43, I should say, U-43, probably just leads the pack by a little bit. Let's get her to go 15 and flank, 15 to starboard. And we'll have her start monitoring this large freighter in the rear. Actually, we'll just have her monitor the Vendetta on the off chance that this fleet turns horribly to the the south so uh, just she should track somebody right when there's no point in her not tracking somebody so it looks like the repulse is extremely close so what we're gonna do here is just focus get a, a focus barrage of four torpedoes out and then try to disengage because uh, this the u44 is very vulnerable to a counterattack by the by the destroyer and I don't want to risk less than four torpedoes. I want assured victory. So let's go flank speed with this one. Um, if we can get within 3,000, we can actually get a guaranteed hit because when we fire, the torpedoes will arrive on the same turn. That's what I'm hoping for. But we're going to wait one turn for that because we don't know, one, which direction the repulse is going to turn. She may turn away from us, which will be a little unfortunate, but if she turns into us, we will be able to sink her for sure. So we'll wait just one turn. Just give us one turn to see what's going on. Oh, they're like basically moving in the most perfect manner imaginable for us to easily sink them. So with the 43, we move straight, flank speed, don't do anything, and wonder of wonders, we probably still move about 10 degrees to port, maybe 15. The more we move away to, from the destroyer, the better, right? So we should probably err on that side. Let's move 15 degrees, flank speed. I hope we are moving flank speed. Yeah, 6.5 knots, that means we definitely triggered the flank speed. And we'll wait one more turn. Okay, they kept moving in the most perfect manner. Maybe they're turning slow just because that battle cruiser can't turn quite as fast possible we'll take it whatever for whatever reason they're doing this real slow turn right into me um, we'll take it so this looks good we'll just move flank speed from this angle it seems so close but then when you go to the top down view you realize you know that ship's not that close <laughs> like we're right here and they're over here so we can wait probably one more turn and they are just basically saying screaming hit me hit me Hit me with your best shot. All right, so what, I'm, what I might do here is, since we have a pretty good targeting solution on the Vendetta, which is hard to see, but must be right here. Yeah, there she is. Almost no way a torpedo gets through. It's certainly gonna hit one of the leading torpedoes first. So that means that we just, we're not interested in actually firing at her, unfortunately. Let's zoom in a little bit so I can actually see my submarine there. Okay, good. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna end up firing at all. So let's just take our, our guaranteed hit on the repulse and get out of here. 
kind of feels bad sinking a ship like this. But hey, you know, if they were doing convoy escorts with battlecruisers, uh, I guess the battlecruiser deserved to get sunk. How do we do this most effectively? I think we just do almost like a full sweep. Torpedoes away. Here we go. One, two, three, four. That's going to do a lot of damage if it doesn't sink her outright. I mean, it should. This is very similar to how the Renown was sunk, I think. Or was it the... No, this is the Barham. We're talking about the Barham again. Okay, there's the Repulse. She's going down. Which means I'll probably get my other submarine just to disengage. There's no reason to stay in the line of fire. Now, we probably have to switch targets over to... I don't know... Maybe this large freighter right here. Yeah. Let's just wait a turn or two. Um, we just want to launch two torpedoes if we can. So we can get out of here. Oh, sorry. No. We're going to get out of here with the U-44. What I mean is, for the U-43, we're going to lure the destroyer in. And if we have enough torpedoes, that should be fine. However, with our U-44, I guess we could risk... No, that destroyer is way too close. So let's just dive and turn hard to port. I was thinking we could try to launch rear torpedoes, but it's very unlikely that's going to be a successful gambit. So just try to remember, I know I always forget, but try to remember to keep diving in the subsequent turns. I don't often remember, sadly. They are taking their sweet time moving to intercept me. Maybe they don't have a sonar contact quite yet. I don't know. Now, the ships are turning south, which is only going to help the U-43 engage one of the large freighters. Yeah. So, we'll just move flank speed and wait probably another turn. Let's make sure that we're still targeting the large freighter. We are. Good. Continue to get a firing solution. Now, this is the interesting one. We'll go ahead and dive some more and keep going to port. If we get lucky, if it happens to work out that we line up a good shot against the destroyer, I'll surface again, but uh, it's a risk-reward thing. The risk is just not worth it. It's so easy for us to sink a lot of these ships with just our other submarine that uh, we risk losing one of our precious submarines. They're not so precious, but it's a point of pride. We've done so well losing, I think, only one submarine and one heavy cruiser. I think those are the only losses for our campaign so far. Let's try to keep that way. Okay, and they are turning. I think they have found us now. And everyone's just screaming to be shot at by <laughs> our U-43 here. We might as well actually fire two torpedoes at the same time. Maybe one at the C-2. Large freighter more important though. So, let's do that. Still 6,500 yards away, that's just too far to engage, so we'll wait a little bit longer. It looks like we made the right decision disengaging because we haven't made the turn yet and we're still <laughs> we're still diving. We wouldn't have been able to fire at them soon enough, I think. That might have been in range, but how far away are they? Oh, okay, it might have worked out. It's only two torpedoes, though. You either hit them or they sink you, so it's not ideal. Yeah, we're doing the right thing. We're playing it safe. When you have such an advantage, there's no the risk. There's no reason to take that risk. We're so far ahead in this campaign already. Now they keep turning. That's a little troublesome. I want to see if they keep if they keep keep turning. <laughs> they should stop in half in the direction eventually, but until they do, I don't really know what my firing solution should be. Now. We can disengage here. I think we're as deep as we can go, right? We are... It doesn't say how deep we are. It should. I'm pretty sure we're very deep. But there's no way of actually telling that, and it doesn't look like that information is given to us. Well, let's just disengage. We know that's what we want to do. So what will the Vendetta do? I don't know. Okay, they are turning back. That's probably a response to me disengaging. Which means it's a good time to launch our torpedoes. 
So, uh, at long last, the time has come for you, for you and your turn, you 43. It's recommending 348. We know they're going to turn away, so this is probably, jeez, I'd be surprised if we needed less than this. Recommend this. Okay, we do want to keep torpedoes available for the destroyer, but we need to make sure we hit, <laughs> otherwise this is fruitless. So let's actually launch one like this. It might miss and continue on and hit another ship, which just fine by me. Maybe. We'll see. Okay, Vendetta's moving. These ships should continue moving away. They do, which I think is good. It's probably what we want. Oh, looks like... <laughs> looks like that's going to happen. Now, if we can sink the destroyer once again, just like the previous times we've done this, we get to capture or sink all the merchant ships for free. Not extremely realistic, just because the submarine, I don't know, it might not even be able to catch these ships. I guess on the surface it can't, but... Let's start lining up our attack on the Vendetta. Just get as much tracking information as possible. Just move full, and let's move five degrees. Give a weird angle. And let's wait. Okay, the Vendetta, here she comes. Should take a few turns, though. The more turns, the better. The more turns, the better. Hopefully, the more torpedoes we'll have. So... Yeah, but we're going to want to go flank speed eventually. So let's just tur turn away a little bit more. We want to keep our speed up, basically, but we want to um, not move towards them. Because the amount of speed you have, it seems to be... I mean, it's the amount of distance you move per turn, which can be very important against the destroyer. For now, we'll just let the Vendetta come directly at us. I think we need one more turn before our torpedoes... <sighs> there it is, okay, that's it. So we need uh, two more turns or three more turns. Whoa, what was that? That was weird. That was a really sharp turn. Oh, maybe they realized they were going to collide. Okay, so let's do 10 degrees. Going flank speed again, but that's fine. Start lining up that shot. Yeah, I think they realized they were going to collide. This is going to make us have to turn very hard to port, though. To actually be able to line up that shot. That's already good. Okay, we're in much better shape now. No torpedoes quite yet, but we should have three torpedoes ready to go by the time... Oh, do they maybe not know where we are? That is something I did not expect. Ten degrees more, move flank... Okay, let's see if it turned back. No, they're really dedicated in that direction. Now, the problem is we're going to have to make a decision at some point whether to fire torpedoes at them, at which point they'll probably turn, or just uh, wait it out and hope that they discover us and come at us headlong. So we fire torpedoes and miss, and they come after us, that's when we're really in trouble. For the time being, let's keep turning 10 degrees to continually put ourselves on an intercept course. There's the big turn. So if we had fired torpedoes, we would be in big trouble right now. Now everything's just working out a lot better. We turn back towards them, we make sure we have a good angle. They'll probably end up firing their t surface guns at us, which means that we want to close the distance as fast as they do. They think they want to get close so they can torpedo, I mean, depth charge us, but we want them to get close so we can hit with our torpedoes for sure. That was perfect. It's probably the course that we'll maintain for the rest of this fight. Now, this is the question. Do they fire? No, they don't. So they don't really know where we are quite yet. Which is both good and bad. One, good. They don't fire. But the bad news is... Yeah, they might change directions again, and that would be bad. 
So even this direction we're currently going is not quite perfect. Okay, we do have all four torpedoes though, so we're almost guaranteed a hit. We want to hit with two though. Do they fire? Please fire. No. Negative. No. They don't know where we are. Okay, well, they are close enough now that we're going to have to... It's time. We have to make our move. So move like this. And... We will line up our torpedoes. Okay, so let's see here. I don't think we'll be hitting on this turn, unfortunately. So maybe we wait one more turn. Okay, let's wait one more turn. We could get unlucky and they might fire and hit us now, but... Do they? Yeah. And they missed, it looks like. Let's find out. All these merchant ships will soon be sunk. Okay, they didn't hit us. It doesn't look like it, at least. They are extremely close, though. So let's go um, all stop, but let's keep angling a little bit towards them. Just make sure that we have good firing solution. Okay. If I hit done there on accident, I would have really just shot myself. Let's fire just three torpedoes to assure defeat. I mean, to assure, <laughs> to assure that we sink them. Their defeat. I think three should do it. I mean, some people would say just launch all four because you guarantee it then. And they would be right. There, no, they're fine. Can't imagine a destroyer surviving three torpedo hits. It's probably happened, but it's unlikely. So, good, another victorious... We got, wow, 39,000 each. A lot of... Oh, okay, so more attacks as well. More su submarines ah, attacking off-camera. So more merchant shipping is sunk. It's only January 1940, and we're just slaughtering them. All right, so another group, uh, Jervis. Ooh, I like the, that's tribal class, if I'm not mistaken. I like the tribal class. I probably don't like going against them, but actually they're really, I liked them specifically because they were good against, as a surface combatant, but they're not anything special for anti-submarine warfare. But just remember that you don't want to face them uh, in Silent Hunter 3 on the open seas. All right, so we have... Our, our 68 is unfortunately the one who has to attack both the Jervis and the Gurkha. Now, they are moving right to left from the position of my U-64. Right to left from U-64 means that they're moving east. Okay, so that means maybe the U-64 takes the Jervis, in fact, if we can, if we can make it happen. So, with that in mind, flank speed, 5 degrees, let's find out what they're doing before we take any real action. Now you are going to be lining up a shot on the Gurkha. So that means you're going to actually swing 5 degrees to port. And let's see what they do. Alright, they are turning to the right. That is bad. That is bad. That is not good. Hopefully they turn back though. We're good on our current trajectory. Also good on this current trajectory. Okay, good. They are turning back. Uh, hmm. Try to get this to happen as soon as possible. Yeah, they're turning back more. That's good. Technically, they've done the best thing. Swing towards my other ship first, and then now they're just slowly making their way closer to my the other submarine, who also needs to be in range. Okay. And they're not turning by as much. They might be setting a permanent direction here. There's one thing I will say. These guys are very hard to predict. I think we are just going to launch torpedoes, assuming that they can carry on this current line. I'm doing this because I'm a little worried that my U-68 is going to be out of range very soon. And since they're about the same distance away, I don't think I'll wait an extra turn for the U-64. Yeah, alright, so let's just do it then. 
they recommend 7.3. What do I think about 7.3? Well, kind of hard to tell. 7.3, they're gonna probably keep turning. So let's do the same old thing we always do. Let's lead by a little bit. 7.3, let's do by fives. Okay, let's do by sevens. And maybe keep one torpedo? I don't think so. I say launch them all. Better chance of success that way. I'm pretty comfortable with that. I think at least two torpedoes are going to hit. So, flank speed. I think you're moving at the perfect trajectory. It says 352 for the torpedoes, which means we were probably leading a little too much on our intercept course, but that's okay. So, 352. Same, de same, same deal here. We expect to have to lead them. Probably 7 felt really good on that last one. So what if we do this? This. This. And... What was that last one? I forget. We're down to one. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, let's hope that this is nice, quick uh, engagement. If those torpedoes hit, it will be. If not, we are in for the long haul. Good, they, they moved in an appropriate manner. We cleared the bow, that's good. Stop, please stop, good. That's looking very good, actually. So we'll keep going flank speed and let's find out. We'll keep the Jervis being targeted. And the important question is, oh dear. Okay, they're gonna move forward, but probably we're only gonna hit with two torpedoes here. So this guy is gonna have to line up his shot, his next shot pretty quickly. I think. We could get lucky. Oh, yep, we're going to get lucky, so... Yep, Jervis sinking, and I'm sure... Uh, this other destroyer is destroyed as well. The Gurkha. So probably we already have the option to sink merchants and withdraw. Very good. So, throw on a few more points of renown, and sink a whole bunch of merchant ships. And we have one more engagement in the Mediterranean. Okay, well, it's already getting a little bit long on for a video, but we'll just make this as fast as possible. Um, we're going to go flank speed, but we're going to kind of move right at them, maybe just barely lead, because we don't know which, which, which direction he's going to turn. Actually, let's lead him by a little bit more, because if he turns too hard to port, our U-42 will be able to get off a shot as well. So the U-41 will just protect against him moving pretty far forward which means we turn pretty hard to starboard. Let's go 20 degrees even. Yeah, 20, we already were. Good, that's that's about what I want. And let's wait one turn. Now you have to go flank speed and uh, just on a prayer that he happens to turn the wrong way. Start targeting him, but don't launch anything yet. What is he doing? He's actually almost moving right at my other submarine. So let's see what's the... We didn't get targeting on him last time. That's unfortunate. So let's move 10 degrees and only go full because basically <laughs> we're almost in danger. Actually, let's go 15. We're almost in danger of him depth charging us. Um, I think I'm going to go... Okay, 15. Perfect. Now please target him. Done. And that means that this person just moves flank speed. They're not relevant to the combat. Oh, now they turn pretty heavily. That's weird. Not good. I think if we go flank, we might be able to get them before they leave. Uh, well, we can aim at the f at their for at the front of the ship. I think they're still too far away. But I think with four torpedoes, it's going to be a guaranteed... There's going to be some guaranteed hits. So let's do it. Let's set two 
to hit if he doesn't, if it hits this turn. And then just kind of spread him out a little bit more. Kind of cover all our angles here. Yeah, I think that should work. This guy might as well just disengage, but we'll keep him in the fight just for fun. Okay, this is important. What are they doing? That's a lot of turning. And all the torpedoes missed. Okay, wow. We might just disengage from this fight. What a waste. Uh, couldn't. I didn't see that coming. I really didn't. We could do some kind of trickery, like surface with this guy for one turn and then dive again. That's a little bit risky, though. I mean, more than a little bit. What is he doing? Okay. I think he's going to go out of range. Just He's just going to go out of range. All right, well, we're going to do it. Let's just let's try this very risky strategy. So preemptively, we're going to send this guy over this way, because we know that that's where the destroyer is going to start turning. He might get a torpedo off, if we're lucky. So this guy, do we wait one more turn? I think we wait one more turn. Maybe even more than one turn. Okay, five degrees more this way. He does have one torpedo. He'll probably have two by the time this all goes down. So this is the plan. U-42 surfaces. U-41 gets at least one torpedo off in the meantime. So U-42 actually needs to surface, but continue to go a little bit more away. And then we'll turn in towards him. I guess that'll happen next turn. I don't even know what kind of ship this is. Was it a tribal? I mean, this is kind of important. EF, that's a pretty good one as well. Okay, suicidal endeavor. What makes me think of these things? Alright, here we go. The range is 9,000. That's pretty close. We could just be completely sunk by doing this. Okay, let's wait one more turn. This <laughs> is just reconsidering things. <laughs> let's go another 5 degrees away. The further away we are, the less chance they have of sinking us. That's my idea. We don't want to be too far away, though, because then it'll take a long time for them to come in. We're going to have to dive below torpedo range. I don't know. Why am I even doing this? I don't, I don't really know. This is really stupid. Okay. We don't even have the opportunity to disengage now, so that means that probably there's a sonar contact of some kind. Uh, okay, surface, five degrees more. We're crazy, but we're doing it. We might as well uh, get one shot off because it's free, right? We have no reason not to try to fire. I think 14.5 is going to be a little low. Let's go 15. Oops, 14.5 probably would have been perfect. And here's the retaliation. Oh, okay, that's actually really good news. We got our free turn. Keep angling five degrees, move flank. We got two torpedoes, so... That's going to be a long distance to shoot, though. All right, now we need to dive again. Very simple. And I think we actually have to turn towards them. Yeah. Dive and turn towards. Good. They likely have a good good spotting on us right now, but... We just have to hope that they don't hit us with their deck guns. They didn't do any action. Okay. Maybe they didn't see us. Hard to... I don't know why they... Huh. I don't know. I just don't know. Very good. Perfect. And they are still moving towards us, but they're they're not turning fast enough, I think, for my U-41 to be effective in this combat. 
That's okay. You win some, you lose some. So keep arcing towards him. And don't fire yet. This might turn out perfect for us. <laughs> He's not firing his guns, we're not going to take any damage. We do have a bunch of torpedoes. I mean, this is like my emergency... my emergency kit. It's not what I'm going to try to use for the kill, but... Worst comes to worst, we can. Yep, they're turning hard. I think they found us now. Or... did they find the wrong ship? Moving flank speed. Nothing yet. It moved really hard. 15. This isn't quite close enough, though. I think they see us now. No action. Hmm. Is that time to launch torpedoes? <laughs> What we probably should do is launch torpedoes just in front of the Eclipse. Let's let's find out where the torpedoes would be right now. They recommend, with their top speed already engaged, 343. Wow. I'm pretty sure that... Yeah, that just basically hits the U-42. Knowing that, let's just aim a little bit in front of the U-42 as like a precautionary me measure. Like maybe, maybe this one the pitting. We gotta cut this pretty close. Now, it probably won't take more than three turns to get there, and we can see we're moving like this much. One, two, this is gonna be like a direct hit on our ship. So we can't even do this, we have to do something less. Does that work? I didn't even, I don't even think it moved. 349.9, 350.3, okay. This is doable. We'll slow down with the U-42 as well. We'll start going a little bit slower. So fire this, and fire another one just in case there's some other... if she does something different. And hopefully just at least one of these hits. That's just our safety measure. We're not expecting these torpedoes to be useful. All right. Yeah, we're going to be able to sink the Eclipse on this turn. That was a waste. Go five degrees, full. And, uh, yeah, this is it. Let's put one here, and one here, and just to guarantee victory, three torpedoes out. Boom, boom, boom. There she goes. Beautiful. And we're done. So, launched a lot of torpedoes there, I would say, but uh, other than that, we're doing okay. Now, what do these guys have to do? They probably have... need to repair... Uh, torpedoes, 10 and 13. That's good enough for one more engagement, but we might as well swap some people around. Just so... We don't run low on torpedoes. There's 22 and 20. Yeah, okay. And where do we have to go? Where's the uh, Sargasso? And thanks also to Ulf, who told me that we do get access to Mediterranean ports once Italy joins the war, which is going to be coming up pretty soon. But until then, let's just send our guys over to the Sargasso Sea. So a swap is in order. And also, I think these guys have torpedo issues. 17. Nope, they're fine. 16 and 18. That's still reasonable. Is anybody low? Maybe not. 18. Yep, everyone else I think is okay. Uh, 14 and 11. That's a little bit low, but... 10 and 12, also a little bit low. But that, that's all fine. Even these guys are fine. Yeah, 10, 13 is probably fine. We'll just leave them a little bit closer to the re resupply zone. All right. Uh, anything we want to do with these guys? They're probably still going to wait one more turn for the hipper to come out. If I may call her that. It's a little presumptuous. 
to forget the admiral. Let's see, we 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 could buy we could buy anything right now. We're just gonna wait for the Bismarck to come out. Week three of August. We have so many turns to go, and then that that's when the fun will begin. So leave a comment if you would like me to maybe just skip some of this boring stuff and uh, jump into maybe getting the Bismarck. <laughs> I'm, I myself am already kind of bored of submarine combat. It's obviously pretty easy, pretty overpowered. So, thanks for watching this episode, and let me just see, did it save my game? I hope it did. Yeah, it did. It looks like it saved it. That's good. All right, so I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, take care.